Welcome back, beautiful people, to this episode of Christianity Over Islam with Sam Shaman. The Muslim say Christians are pagan and it backfires heavily on him. Let's watch this amazing video. I think you heard enough truth for you to come back to Christ and say, you know what? Bye bye, Muhammad. I made a mistake. Well, brother, this is a lot of information for you. I would encourage you go back, watch this, and then come back with more questions after you've digested this, because this is a lot of information. I want you to learn it. There's um uh, probably just one more. Um, okay. It's the, you know, um, I've seen people saying, you know, the church adopted pagan holidays um, and replaced it with Christianity and, you know, like, um, in the church praying to saints, it would replace uh, them praying to pagan gods to yeah. praying All to right. saints and stuff, patron saints. So you want me to address that, right? Yeah. Okay, even let's say that's true for argument's sake. What does that got to do with New Testament Christianity? Because if we're going to go with that logic, you just buried Muhammad again. Because Islam adopted pagan rituals, running around the Kaaba seven times, throwing seven stones at Wadi Mina, running between two hills seven times, Safan Marwa, and adopting a pagan month of fasting, Ramadan, and yet trying to make it as if these are rites attributed to Abraham. So why are you a Muslim? See, you're so inconsistent, you're over the map. So you're going to reject Christianity because the church later supposedly adopted pagan practices. Even if that's right, what does that got to do with the New Testament? Being historically accurate, reliable. Say it again. Church put together New Testament. Oh, you mean the very New Testament that you've been selectively citing to try to condemn Paul? The very New Testament that Bart Ehrman quotes in order to make his case? The very New Testament that you Muslims appeal to show Muhammad is predicted there? So the church is reliable enough to give you these books to use to destroy Christianity, but it's not reliable enough to tell you that these are the books that God inspired and preserved. You are so inconsistent, it's, it's bordering on dishonesty. Well, I mean... No, I'm not trying wait, to be wait, dishonest. Wait, 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 wait. Let me bury you. So if paganism is something that led you to reject the church, can you now join me in spitting on Muhammad? Because Muhammad kissed the black stone, the pagans did that. Muhammad ran around the Kaaba seven times, the pagans did that. Muhammad ran between Safa and Marwa, the pagans did that. And they had two idols there. And the pagans fasted Ramadan. So now I want you to say, I, with Sam Shimon, I spit on Muhammad for adopting pagan practices and deceiving me to be stupid enough to think Abraham did it. Say it. Yeah, and I get it. You're calling me out for, um, you know, yeah. being, that's pretty cool. Yeah. But I mean, it's still, you know. Still what? Like I'll I give see you a million bucks to prove to me. I'll give you a million bucks to prove to me. December 25th was actually a pagan holiday that the Christians adopted. This again shows your ignorance. The Christians adopted it, and then the pagans took it from the Christians. See, you're so ignorant, you don't know this. But I'm a, I gave you Muslim sources telling you the pagans were doing these practices during the time of Muhammad. So I want you to say, I agree with Sam Shimon. I spit on Muhammad who's burning in hell for making me a pagan, stone-licking idolater. Say it. Yeah, I didn't think you would. So go back and restudy what you've learned because you've studied a lot of misinformation. All right. I'll... Right? Mm-hmm. Okay, buddy. Come back after you rewatch this. Make sure you listen and understood. Don't come back not learning because it defeats a purpose if you don't go back and study these arguments and learn them mm -hmm. and move on. That means you're not honest. You just want to continue to follow this pagan pedophile, woman raping, woman whoring, idolatrous, black stone kissing, antichrist who's burning in hell. And then you deserve the judgment that will come upon you for not repenting. But that's between you and Jesus. All right? All right. All right, buddy. Trent, um, we'll be praying for you. Now, if you're honest, it will be right, a matter so. of time you're going to come back saying, I worship Jesus as my Lord and Savior, and Muhammad is dead and buried in hell. If you're honest, we'll see. All right. All right you know, I'm just going to do what God wants me to do. Okay, guys. So, before we continue with our um, amazing video, um, he says that um, Christian adopted and pagans holiday and changed it to Christian celebration. And some shaman bless him that he will give him a certain amount of dollars for him to prove to him that to December 25th is for um, is the day set aside by pagans for their practices and their sacrifices. But he could not answer, he could not give any um, definite answer. And then one thing Sam Shaman says is that he has proof from Muslim scholars which proves that uh, Muhammad kissed the black stone and then uh, 
Islam adopted the pagan practices of running round the Kaaba seven times and running between two hills seven times. And these are pagan practices, but Islam adopted it. But they have no proof that December 25th is um, pagan holiday. Let's get back to this video to get more details. All right, amen. amen. And Jesus wants you to come back because he's calling for you. That's right. Jesus is alive. Muhammad is dead, even according to the Quran. Allah took him to himself and Muhammad is dead in the grave, according to the, the Quran. So I'd rather follow the living Jesus than the dead Muhammad. This is the same gentleman I spoke with on God Logic channel. This is him. So three months of studying Islam and then he embraced Islam. And three weeks later, where do you stand when it comes to Islam? Yeah, I uh, think Ted definitely made a mistake. Are you ready to come home to Jesus? Yeah. Now, you said you met people online. Where? Which uh, social media platform? Discord. So on Discord, you met some Muslims, then you said they were nice? Yeah, I joined um, these uh, big servers with like thousands of people. And the rules would always be, you know, if you support Al Qaeda or ISIS or anything, you know, you're banned. And then. Well, that was the rules. Yeah. Now, before yeah, you move on. The... So they deceived you, lied to you that in the Discord, the rules is if you saw, if you support Al Qaeda or ISIS, you're banned. And in reality, though, they do support them, huh? No, it was, um, there were some in there who weren't admitting that. And um, once you get smaller into like smaller groups and everything, you would find out. Uh, so the large servers, they pretend to be politically correct, don't support Al Qaeda or ISIS, but then they try to then fish you into the smaller groups and that's when they indoctrinate you, huh? Yeah, so there are, there are Muslims who like definitely do not support sure. ISIS or Al Qaeda. But and you know the primary reason why? Why? You want me to tell you why? Either the Muslim doesn't know Islam that well, <clears throat> they're, most Muslims are ignorant of their religion, like Christians, yes. or the reason why they don't support ISIS, Al-Qaeda, is because they kill other Muslims who don't agree with them, yes. so they call them Khwarij, Khariji. So those Muslims who don't know Islam, because they're ignorant, they'll think this can't be Islam. But those Muslims who study Islam know Muhammad was a bloody, woman-whoring -whor pedophile who sent people to murder people enslave women and children and molest them and sell them off mm -hmm. not keep them as property that's in the islamic sources we're not lying we can document yeah that. they even told those me who that. Know that those who know that will say well our problem with al-qaeda and isis is that it's not so much that they're attacking non-muslim lands and trying to take it over all on his messenger it's that they're also killing other muslims who don't agree with them and they even told me you know whenever i was saying talking to them about you know isn't jihad just defensive uh, they're like nah we can we can attack them and uh, say it again yeah they said no we can go and attack them and that's that's what we're supposed to do we're supposed to kill the disbelievers so when they brought you into their inner circle a small group because they trusted you see how jesus works the almighty mm -hmm. son of god who was going to bring you out allowed you to hear the true teaching of islam see the true face of islam so now you expose these dogs these sons of the devil for the glory of Jesus until they repent or the Lord give them what they deserve. So they told you, nah, it's not just defensive. We can go and attack and kill, huh? Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay, guys, so welcome back. I believe you're able to learn something new from this amazing debate. I believe you know the extent to which these people can go just to combat people. And then um, one, thing, one thing to note from this uh, amazing debate is that he said, he became a Christian and I mean a Muslim by mistake that he regretted being um, becoming a Muslim and then he said he studied Islam for three months before he became a Muslim and then when they draw him into their inner circle that was when he began to study uh, some things about Islam that they didn't tell him from the beginning before they were teaching him about the fence that Islam is allowed to defend the Muslims are allowed to defend themselves uh, which is not a bad thing, right? But he said after they draw him into their inner cycle and they now begin to tell him that they can attack people, those even defenseless people that did not attack them or know that. And then uh, from the beginning of the, the he said that a uh, Christian abducted pagans for the guy changed it to a Christian celebration. And Sam Shaman pointed out that uh, Islam adopted pagan practices like running around the uh, 
uh, cover for seven times and then uh, run him behind two heels and it proves that uh, Mohammed kisses the black stone. Guys, I believe you were able to learn something. Let us know what you've learned from this debate and also don't forget to share, to like and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Thank you.